Hey beautiful, welcome back to Self Fashioner. Today we are going to do a Sugar Skulls tutorial. This is a great tutorial if you are kind of having a last minute idea of what to do for Halloween. Um, today is actually Halloween for me, so I will be, this is like a last kind of um, last minute costume if you will. So go ahead and keep watching to see how to do a Sugar Skull. And remember to click subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and hit that like button if you like this video and put in the comment section anything else you want to see let's get started normally I would say if you have thicker eyebrows probably um, put them down with uh, glue like I've shown in other videos my eyebrows aren't that thick and my hair is very fine so I'll be fine just painting over them so first I'm going to start off with um, some white paint um, this is from Graftopian in the color white swan just gonna wet it a little bit Now that I have my base coat on, I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer. You can go ahead and keep the around the eyes blank because I'm just gonna be doing a dark um, color around the eyes for the big circles. Next, we're gonna go ahead and set the paint with a face powder so that it dries and doesn't crack. Now that I have my face um, painted white, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dark circles with the Kat Von D's Everlasting Glimmer Veil. I'm gonna use the color Reverb. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyeshadow with, um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime it first with Urban Decay's Potion Primer. Now I'm gonna go ahead in with Urban Decay's eyeshadow in the color Peace. I'm gonna try and create a gradient from to make it lighter and then darker on the outer edges. I'm just lining the water lines with black. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take a fluffy brush and blend out the light blue with the dark blue of the outer corners. And you just wanna keep blending during this part. I'm just gonna take a dark navy blue eyeshadow to kind of uh, close the gap between the blue everlasting uh, glimmer veil and the light blue eyeshadow. So we're just going to kind of blend these two together with a navy blue color. And to make the blue pop a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of co um, concealer onto the top of the lid and right below my eye right here. Now that I have this side done, I'm just going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to do eyeliner and then later on we're going to pop on some lashes. Next I'm just going to go ahead and map out the contour of my face. Um, with um, I'm going to use a purple liner because I'm going to go ahead and shade it with purple. So I'm just kind of outlining it first and then I'll go ahead and start shading in with some eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix, um, I don't have a pink, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix um, red and white together. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of shade in this area over here. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and mix, since I don't have a purple, I'm gonna go ahead and mix red and blue so I can get a purple to go back in with a darker line and shade that in. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and with an eyeshadow and pull down some more darkness to have more of a gradient. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat this over here. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some gems. I got these from um, a craft store. I got these from Michaels. So they're easy. You can just stick them on um, and they make a really nice cool effect. These came as stickers but the stickers aren't working very well so I'm just using some clear um, eyelash glue to go ahead and stick them on. Now 
now that we have the jewels done don't they look amazing they just bring everything so much more together i'm going to go ahead and do um the decorations on top of my forehead and then we're going to just work our way down to the nose and to the chin and on the sides so i've been going kind of with a star like theme so i have a crescent moon i'm so bad at drawing crescent moons i don't know why so i just printed out um and cut out a little stencil for myself and i'm just going to go ahead and paint in um, a moon on top of my forehead for the moon i'm going to go ahead and color it in with um kat von d's everlasting glimmer veil in the color thunder thunderstruck i was going to say thunderbolt thunderstruck i'm just going to go ahead and outline the moon a little bit with this kind of pink color and this is Stila's uh, Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Sea Siren. Next, I'm just kind of smushing out the pink so that it can look like a radiant glow coming from the moon. And with a brush, I'm gonna go and outline it a little bit with some pink eyeshadow to make it stand out a little bit more. Then I'm going to go ahead and use um, Heavy Metal from Urban Decay in the color gold to outline the moon. Next I'm going to go ahead and do the nose. First I'm going to do kind of the same gradient that I have on the side of my face. I'm going to first do a little bit of the pink and then darken it with the purple. basically just drawing an upside down heart on my nose. And now I'll go ahead and darken it with the purple that I mixed together. I'm going to go ahead with the dark purple eyeshadow and keep darkening the very tip of the nose. Next I got these little adhesives so I'm just going to add these to the sides of my face. go ahead and take that purple paint and just decorate a little bit more on my forehead and my chin. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my lip color and then do the lines for the teeth. And I'm going to go ahead and use um, the same color that I used to do the glow around the moon, which is Sea Siren. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit with Thunderstruck, or with, um, with the color oops, Rocker from the Everlasting Glimmer Veils. I'm just putting the color dead in the center of my lips. I'm going to go back in with a brush with this pink, uh, with a pink color eyeshadow. Now with the black paint, I'm going to go ahead and do the teeth, or what's kind of symbolic of the teeth. And this is the final look of a sugar skull or my take on a sugar skull. I actually found um, a reference photo that caused me inspiration. It was just like a drawing of a night sky with a crescent moon and pink blue clouds. So this is kind of what I was inspired by and this is what I came up with from that picture. Um, so if you guys wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and Click that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and put down in the comments what you're going to be for Halloween and what you're doing. All right, and I'll see you guys another time and happy Halloween.